I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559. Same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle. What is up everyone? Today I had this $2,050 mystery box from the sneaker store The Covenant. I haven't got a box from them in a while, but they finally made me one. They DM'd me about it. I met them for the first time at the recent sneaker event, so it was pretty cool meeting them. If you guys are watching this, shout out to you guys for making me the box. Hopefully it's a good one. But um, yeah, not really much else to say. Let's get into the box now, see what's in it. Um, just based off the size, there shouldn't be too many pairs. But hopefully that means there's just some really good shoes in here, but yeah. Let's get it open now. All right, just got it cut open. Let's take a look at how this is looking inside. Here's how it's looking so far. Can't really see much. You see a Yeezy 700, but that's about it. So let's just start off with it. Yeezy Boost 700. This is going to be a size 10. Here they are, it's the black colorway. This is the triple black. Better look with on the flash on. So here it is. Um, I don't know, these don't move too well for me, but they're brand new. It's an easy to match colorway, so hopefully these do move fast. Again, it is a size 10. So market's pretty weird on this. The lowest ask is at 320, highest bid's at 221, so about a hundred dollar difference. Last sell was 310. I can't look at recent sales. Um I don't know, I just feel like these have been lower before. Oh well the other sizes are above 300 too. So I'll mark it at the last sell, 310. I think that's a fair price. So 310 for that. I wonder if anyone's gonna pay that high. We'll see. But that's what they're going for. Um, let's go with this. Jordan 1 box. This is going to be a size 13. So a big size right here. Oh yeah, it's the Pine Greens. Haven't got this shoe in forever. For DS. Pretty big size, but I mean, you can't go wrong with these Jordan 1s. In a size 13 for the pine greens. Market's a little lower than I thought. They're going for about 280. So 280 already. 590, basically 600 with the Yeezys and the Jordan 1 so far. So pretty good start. Um, let's go with this. This is a pretty small box. Looks like there's only three shoes left after this. So not too many pairs today. Five and a half women's, four and men's. Box is pretty damaged. Here they are, the Bone Beige Dunks. So this is a good colorway. I don't know what market is on it, but I, mean, I think these will move pretty fast, even though it is a smaller size. Good colors on this. And market is super weird on this. Lowest ask is 477, highest bid is just 91. Last sell was 349. Again, I can't look up market prices because I'm not logged in on this phone. Or, well, that worked, I guess. <laughs> So five and a half women's, here's the more recent sales. Kind of all over the place a lot. Under 200, there is a few over. I think marking this at 220 is fair. Just based off the recent sales. So 220 for that, 810. So hopefully they didn't mark that at lowest ask since no recent sales have been near that. But the good thing they put a note as well so we can see. Let's go with this, a Nike SB. Size 12 right here. This is the... Don't know what these are called. It says at a time right there. And this one says one block. So one block at a time. Maybe, maybe that's what it's called. One block at a time SB Dunks. So here it is. Look at the Nike swoosh. That looks pretty cool. Here's that. On the turf. It is a little dirty in the back. I wonder if these are used or not they do look new so maybe you could just wipe that down like esb on the back looks cool as well so this is a really cool looking sb dunk don't know what the market is on it but we're about to find out right now but it's like a dodgers colorway right here so for those sb dunks i don't know if it's unreleased or not it doesn't show a release date at the bottom like it normally does and then all the cells are just like it looks like no one even has them in hand so i don't even know how i'm gonna price this i don't know how they got it in hand Hopefully they're legit. I'm gonna run it through a legit app. They are a sneaker store. Maybe they did as well. So hopefully they are legit. But um, highest bid's 220, which is the most someone wants to pay at the moment. Last sell was 830. A lot of recent sales before that was like around five, 600. 
So I don't know. It's hard to shoot the price. I'm going to mark it at 600 for now. Just based off recent sales, but we're going to have to definitely take a look at their note. So 1410 with, I don't even know how many more shoes. Two? Two more shoes to go. Let's go with this huge off-white box. I don't think these are going for too much. No matter which colorway it is. Air Force One Mid, size 10. And it's going to be the white colorway. So I've gotten the black color a few times. I've gotten this once. So this is my second time having these off-white Air Forces. But yeah, they are brand new. So the size 10 for the off-white Air Forces going for 150. So 150, I'm only at 1560 with one more shoe to go for this $2,050 box. So like I said, I think he might have definitely priced these two higher. But we'll take a look at the note after. This does look like the last shoe from what it seems. So yeah, let's get into it. A size three youth. At Cardito, what is this based off the box? It's a good shoe. I don't know how much the small sizes are going for. Here it is, the Travis Olive. Oh no, it's not the Olive. This is the Reverse Mochas. So yeah, that's good. Because I think these are going for more than the Olives. So a good colorway right here. Brand new. It is a smaller size, but can never go wrong with Travis Air, For Air Jordan 1s. So yeah, this is the last shoe overall from this $2,050 box. Let's check out the market. And a size 3 youth going for 340 at the moment. So with 340, everything with my prices add up to 1900. Again, I paid 2050. So let's take a look at the note. See what he priced everything. Thank you for the support. Much love. Shout out to them. But the born and raised dunks. He looked at goat prices. Okay, so goat has it at 1150. So I didn't even check goat. I checked StockX. I don't know, the recent sales on StockX didn't look too good for the blue dunks compared to Go. So, um, I don't know. That's going to be a tough one. I'm going to have to probably talk to them about that. The Bone Beige StockX, yeah, they priced it at the the, high, the lowest ask. And like I said, the, um, the last sales didn't look too good for those. So, I don't know. We're going to have to come back to that one. Triple Black, 310, I marked it the same. Air Force Off White 150, I marked it the same. Travis Lowe's 340, I marked it the same. Pine Greens 280, I did the same thing. So the only two shoes we're off on, just like I had predicted, were the two dunks right there. So yeah, I might have to message him about it, see, and let them know what I saw as far as um, the last sales. Maybe we could lower the price because I do not think I'll be able to sell those for too high and make good profit off the box, but yeah. But yeah, I'll DM them, let you guys know what they say, and then, yeah, that's, we'll wrap up the video. All right, I have some info, ignore the mess, but I texted the owner of the Covenant. They gave me more info on the SB Dunks. You can see right here, the reason why there's no lowest ask is because StockX isn't allowing sales for these. Um, you'll see right here, this release has been postponed. Buying and selling will be re reopened when the, a new release date is announced. So that's why they're not um, allowing it. I guess the, uh, again, I don't know too much about the shoes, but the shoes it was for, or the person who made it passed away. So that's why everything's postponed. Um, so that's why he had priced it over a thousand because gold price is over a thousand. The last sale on gold was over a thousand. And right now the top offer on gold is 875. So I had priced those at 600. Let's just say I could sell it for the top offer at the moment, which is 875. I'm gonna add the difference, which is 275. So I'm at 2175 again. I might be able to get over a thousand for those. We're gonna see. But he did lower the price to 1900, I think. Yeah, the 1900. He refunded a hundred dollars back, so 1950 in total, because of the confusion for the beige dunks. He marked those a little higher than I did. But yeah, that's the info I have for you guys. I'm paying 1950 for this box. I could probably make 2175, maybe over 2200 in total. Again, it's all gonna come out, come down to those SB dunks. We're gonna see what I can do with those. They are very rare. It's a good looking dunk, so yeah, we're gonna see. But yeah, that's the video, guys. A 2,000, or now it's $1,950 mystery box from The Covenant. Let me see your guys' opinions on the box. Leave it down in the comment section below. Let me see what your guys' favorite shoe is. My favorite would be those SB dunks. Not because of how rare it is, but based off how it looks, I even, said it earlier in the video i like the way it looks so yeah 
that's my favorite but that's pretty much gonna wrap up today's video thank you everyone for watching if you guys haven't yet please subscribe to this channel leave a like on the video and i'll see you guys next time I now do raffles on my Instagram daily, so if you're into that kind of stuff and want to join a future one, shoot my Instagram a follow. It's jcresells559, same exact name as my YouTube name. Thank you guys for the support, and I hope to see you in the future raffle.